Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to Premise Lug. My name is Jonathan and in this video I wanted to talk to you today about uh, WordPress hosting, specifically if you are a freelancer, an agency, uh, if you manage multiple sites, even if you just have a bunch of personal sites, and why I think that Cloudways is the best option for you. Uh, let me just start this off by saying I manage about 20 different client websites. Some of those are personal projects of mine. All in all, including staging websites, I think I have about 34 or 35 sites in total. So um, I've, you know, to say the least, I have moved around from server hosting to server hosting um, so many times, probably spent so many hours that I could have been billing, uh, you know, actual project work, and instead I was moving around servers. The reason is because I wanted the absolute best. I didn't want any compromises, I wanted the best speed, reliability, uh, you know, performance in every capacity, uh, as well as just ease of use, like the dashboard, being able to control everything on a really granular basis, and Cloudways has been the best option. Now, Cloudways definitely isn't the cheapest, I will say. You can, of course, go uh, with GoDaddy or one of those, those but uh, really what you're, what you're gonna miss out on is all of the, the kind of features that you would look for as someone who manages multiple sites, and um, really what I've come to realize is that if you're billing properly and you're running a business that you um, are charging accordingly for, um, in terms of delivering a good product to your customers, paying a hundred or you know $120 a month for hosting for someone like me is not really out of the question. And let me get to the price later on, which is something that uh, you might say, holy crap, you pay $120 a month for hosting. I do, but there's reasons why, and I'll show you specifically. So let's get right into it. Um, what I wanted to show you first of all, and one of my favorite features is deploying a new application is incredibly easy. Now, I specifically do WordPress. Every once in a while I branch out and do other stuff, but primarily it's just WordPress. So if you want to go and deploy a new app, all you have to do is click the add app, choose whichever server, and those are real client sites that you can see. I don't have anything to hide. Um, the options that you can choose are all right here. So if you wanna just do like a blank kind of uh, whatever you want, host a, just a basic HTML file, you could do a PHP install. As you can see, Magento, Drupal, bunch of different stuff. Um, and they're always adding more. Some of this stuff like MediaWiki, Koken, however you say that. <laughs> um, that stuff I, I didn't even know is there, but I specifically just do WordPress. Um, if you just do clean, no Cloudways, it doesn't put the Cloudways Breeze caching plugin in there. Um, you just name your application and click add. It's that easy. And then it's going to automatically install the latest version of WordPress and you're done. Um, what it does do is set it up on a temporary URL so you can go kind of build that site. You can send a link to your client and say, hey, here's the proof for the site, get them to approve it. And you don't actually have to transfer the um, the actual site to a new kind of environment, I would say. You don't have to like clone it somewhere else. All you have to do, and in fact, I'll just go in here to one of these sites. I'll just go to my temp app. All you have to do is, this is a perfect example. You can see right here, it says the WordPress yada 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 dot cloudwaysapps.com. That's my temporary URL. And if I say, okay, I'm ready for the site to go live. All I have to do is click domain management and enter the client's uh, primary domain. And then from there, it automatically switches everything inside of WordPress for you. You don't have to do this and then go inside WordPress and change all of the URLs. So that's an extremely, you know, it's one of my favorite features. Uh, it makes setting up new sites uh, extremely easy. You kind of can do a quasi staging environment, but we'll talk about staging later. As you can see, the dashboard is just really easy to understand. Everything is named properly. Everything is easy to navigate. These are my these are my specific app settings as opposed to the server, but I'll show you the server settings in just a few minutes. Um, and then the, the, the best part for me in terms of just kind of having peace of mind for this particular um, provider is that you can control the frequency of backups and how long they uh, are retained for. So I'm pretty sure server settings, let's go into server, we'll do this one, we'll go to backups. You can do backup frequency all the way down to every hour or every week. I, I think I have mine set to every day, so you know every night basically. And you can keep them for up to four weeks. What's amazing about this is this doesn't 
count against your um, storage capacity of the actual server. So you can see this one, the four gigabyte plan gives me 60 gigs of disk, disk space. So if I had 30 gigs of sites and the backup was 30 gigs, it doesn't, it doesn't you know, fill up my server. That 30 gigs goes off somewhere else, maybe to Cloudways system, and they just basically take care of the backup for you. Then what happens is if you're ready, let me go back over here to server. Um, when you're ready to do a restore or if you ever need to on a particular app, you choose your app and then you say restore. And then it goes and looks for the apps. Hopefully this one has a backup. Yes, it does. And you can choose down to the day which app you want. So I guess I've only had this one since October 13th. Um, but if you say, man, I knew that the site was working fine two days ago and now something's wrong, I could restore it and bam. That's all you gotta do. So that's one of my favorite features um, as far as running you know, an, an agency or kind of freelancing, having multiple sites. If something does go wrong, if you or a client makes a mistake, you can revert backwards without having to rely on you know, some other backup plugin like Snapshot or any of the other 100 backup buddies. Um, and there you, can, there you can see it's already done restoring. Granted, that's a basic WordPress install. There's nothing else on it, but that's really fantastic. Um, another great feature is that Let's Encrypt SSLs are enabled by default, and you can add an SSL certificate to your site for free. This is a full-on you know, domain verified SSL certificate, so it does give you the little green lock. It works for, if you have like Stripe for WooCommerce, um, then you can enable your, your Stripe plugin for instance, and the SSL is, is verified. So, you know, obviously you can get more secure, you can pay $300 a year or whatever you want and get something that's more, um, I don't know what the word is, uh, like verified, I guess, but you can also install your custom certificate if you, if you go that route. So that's really, really great. Um, another fantastic feature for freelancers and agencies is when you're on your uh, applications page, let me get in here and just go, to like this one that I just created. What you can do is actually create a staging environment here, which is super cool. So you can put it on the same server or a different one. And then when you click create a staging, what it does is it clones that app to a temporary URL, and then you can actually set a primary domain so you could have staging.clientsite.com. And um, then it's super easy. It's They're both in the Cloudways system. And what you can do is say, uh, you know, push or pull, just like you would any other staging environment, like through Git. And um, if you have changes on the live site you wanna to push to staging, you can make them go back and forth both ways, which is really, really awesome. That's a fantastic tool. Um, I use it all the time. And I use that as a selling point to my clients. I say, I, I have a staging function, so we're not making changes to your live site. If we do something wrong, or if we wanna test and play with things, we can do that and it's not visible to your customers. The serious businesses that, that uh, I have as customers are very into that idea. They like that. They've had old providers that, you know, they, they spent uh, time and, and money and brain power trying to get things sorted out correctly. Things were incorrect on the website. And now that's a thing of the past. If, if I make a mistake, let's say I put somebody's hours eight to five and they're actually nine to four, it's not that big of a deal because it's in the staging site until they approve it. So that's a really fantastic feature. Um, another thing is that SFTP is enabled by default. Um, you can do FTP on a per app basis or you can do it for the whole server. So if you have an app that you'd like to let somebody else that you don't necessarily know that you trust in there, which hopefully you're not doing that, but you can see the example is basically that um, you can give somebody access to FTP for just one particular app by assigning a username and password in the application credentials page. Or under the server, you can give them access to everything on the server. Um, you also have your my SQL, my SQL access, if you wanna get into your database manager, and there's a lot of other options in here as well. Um, another really great thing, if you're someone like me who strives for perfection and um, you know really high quality stuff is that you have the option to control what PHP version you're on. By default, it automatically enables PHP 7, but if you want, you can go up to 7.1 or 2, or you can go back to 5.6 if you have a particular need for that. Um, and I don't see any reason why you would go or want to go further back than 5.6. If you do need to do that, um, you probably shouldn't be doing whatever it is that you're doing. So um, the PHP version is awesome. And if you really want to, which of course you, you don't want to do on a live server, you can uh, swap your MySQL version. So uh, those are really cool features as well. As far as affordability and cost goes, that was something I was going to address. So when you're setting up your server, 
you basically name it so you can get to the servers. And then there's quite a few different providers here. So as you can see, I have one Vulture server and one Google Cloud. Now the main difference um, as far as affordability goes is that Google Cloud charges you bandwidth. So you have to be really kind of conscious of the size of the images. Everything has to be compressed properly. Um, you need to be using caching and, and all that stuff. Otherwise the bandwidth cost can get really out of hand. Um, also if you have clients who are uploading you know, big files that aren't compressed automatically, like, I don't know, like a PDF or something, um, then the bandwidth cost can get really out of hand. So that's where something like Vulture shines. It's a flat rate cost. And I think there is a, um, like a dollar, you know, a, a price per gigabyte over that uh, bandwidth limit. But as you can see, the four gig plan is 44 bucks a month and you get three terabytes. So you really shouldn't have any issue with that. Um, on Google Cloud right now, my server that has that 30 something sites is right here. I'm on N1 standard two. And I'm using somewhere in the neighborhood of 120 gigabytes. Oh. 120 gigabytes a month. Um, I think I have 45 gigs of storage and like a 20 gigabyte database. So that's that's estimating $160 a month. Uh, I'm more in the neighborhood of like one, I don't know, 30, something like that. So this is probably just a higher estimate. But you can see, even if you're at 500 gigabytes, you're, you're at $200 a month, which is kind of a lot. I don't know that I necessarily see the uh, justification for the cost increase between something like Vulture and Google Cloud because the servers are pretty competitive um, in terms of other stats like the storage size, the RAM, and uh, your processor stats. So I don't know that I would necessarily recommend you to start off with Google Cloud unless there's some reason why you're you know stuck with them. Uh, there used to be a couple other providers but they took those away and as far as Vulture goes, there's more server locations as well. Um, I think Google only has like six in the United States, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see, three, four, four, in fact. Okay, so my server is in South Carolina because I'm based in Florida, but in Vulture, what I would do is choose Atlanta. In fact, that's where my other one is, is Atlanta. That's closer to me than Miami. So um, you can see that the, the affordability factor is definitely there. Um, if you plan it out properly. One final thing that I'll go over is you can um, you can scale your server. So if you decide that one is either too big or too small, you can move up, but not always back down. So let me, let me show you real quick. Um, with Google Cloud, and I believe Amazon as well, AWS, you can scale up and down at any time without having to clone your server. It's able to move up and down. Um, with Vulture, however, you can only go up and if you want to go back down, you have to clone the server to something else, to a smaller tier, and that changes the IP of all of your sites. So then you have to go through and change DNS on every single site, every single domain, and that would be obviously a massive hassle. So I definitely don't recommend doing that. Um, as far as this, the vertical scaling function, you can see it's right here. So you could go up or down, you could go all the way up get some insane server if you really wanted to. You can also do just your uh, data. Oh, I have, oh no, 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 45 gigs for, for um, disk. For database, I have 15 gigs. So um, you can also move either one of these up and down independently of the actual like RAM and storage capacity, uh, or excuse me, RAM and processor. Whereas under Vulture, you only have one slider and that is basically everything all under the same sun, but I believe if I go down, yeah, it says you have to clone the server if you wish to downscale it. So just keep that in mind. You can always move up, but it's not necessarily always able to move down. Um, I believe, like I said, the only two that can go up and down are Google Cloud and uh, AWS. So maybe if you have like a really high traffic website that gets you know significant spikes, you might want to do that. There used to be one that would auto scale up and down, but I think they got rid of it, if I'm not mistaken. So. Um, hopefully this video has been helpful for you guys. Like I said, I am uh, just a small time kind of, I don't know, hybrid freelancer agency type dude and manage around 30 sites. I've been through every hosting company under the sun, GoDaddy, HostGator, InMotion, um, Bluehost, I went through uh, SiteGround and there was, there was pluses and minuses to every single one, uh, but Cloudways has just been the best balance between all of those factors. And, and for me, it doesn't make sense to kind of compromise on the quality of the hosting. Obviously I'm in the website design business and I wanna make sure that my clients are, are completely uh, satisfied. There's good quality speed. I, I wanna make sure everything is perfect is, is really the summary of what it is. The only downside is that you have to use some kind of external 
uh, email solution, which you should be doing anyway. That's something that we can cover in another video like Office 365 versus G Suite. Um, all of my customers, if they want me to handle email are through G Suite and you can go through the referral partner program um, and get a little kickback on that. So. If you guys are interested in trying out Cloudways, please use the link in the description below. That will give you a, a couple day free trial. You can get in there and get a fully functioning server and app set up, kind of play around with it, see if you like it. Um, and then let me know your thoughts. I, I really think Cloudways is one of the best options out there and I'd love to hear your opinion. So again, my name is Jonathan with Permaslug and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you again very soon.